Hey guys, it's Michelle. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do a design using two designs merged in Sew Up Pro and using your repositional hoop for the Brother SE 400. Alright, the things I went ahead and did ahead of time to help save time is the fabric that I'm going to use. Um, that's going to be the number four. That's going to be the caterpillar. And that's the caterpillar's head. So I used heat and bond light. I um, first I starched the fabric to death, ironed it, really got it stiff, um, nice and smooth. And then once it was ready, I cut how much I needed. It's a great thing about printing the template from So What Pro. I laid it on there so I don't waste fabric. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, starched it, cut it. Heat and bond, light, and then I've laid them out to the side. I have not taken the backing out yet. I'll do that in a minute. So I went ahead and did that. The next thing, of course, print your template. If you haven't already, it is a big help, and this is how I um, get my designs, well, I think, straight. I hope everybody else does, too, who gets them. All right, so there's what I need here. I'm going to iron the shirt. Just try to kind of smooth it out. Now, with this design, I've got a lot of coverage here with fabric. So what I'm going to do is use um, a piece of chalk, um, Taylor's chalk, and I can mark my spots. But first, I need to find the center of the shirt. So I always lay the design down and say, okay, can I really mark it or do I need to like just barely make a mark to be able to come out later with the chalk? But here... I purposefully made my holes on my template where I knew they would be covered with fabric. So, and I'll show you that in a minute. First, we're going to get the center of the shirt. And I fold it, put the collar together, put the shoulders, align it. get me a little bit of a line that I can see it and sometimes you know you got to do it a couple times I can see my line right there I, I doubt y'all can on the camera but then I take the line and to me that does not look right so I'm gonna do it again start all over just kind of iron my wrong line out and I am new to this still I'm just kinda learning with everybody else and uh, read the Facebook pages and groups and if I'm working on a project and someone else is having a similar problem you know I, I comment like help I'm having the same problem and then I can kinda keep track of what the experts say the more experienced applicators um, so if any of you experts out there see something that I'm doing wrong please tell me so I can learn and be better. This is just kind of something I do for fun. It's a stress reliever for me. I've got four small kids, so this is like my me time. You might hear the baby music in the background. They just went down for nap. Three of four went to sleep. All right, let's see if that looks better. This is the time where you want to take a lot of time. Sometimes I'll use my grid since it is see-through. Easier kind of to line it up. You 
this is where the important you want to take your time. If you don't think it's right, do it again. Um, and you can't always go with the tag. Sometimes you can. It looks like this one is pretty centered on the tag, though. So I'm going to get me some chalk or something. I had all my stuff laying out here so I could grab it, and now I can't find my chalk. I have a suspicion a little child took it. I'm going to do it again. I, I'm not happy with that. Let's see, let's do it inside this time. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. Try it again. coming off at the same spot every time. You know, and sometimes maybe it's just your lighting or whatever. Okay, finally, got it where I wanted to. Um, now you take your chalk. Mine is just um, from Singer, I think. It came in. No. Oops, there goes my blue. Came in a little package like that. It came with blue, yellow, red, and white. Um, what I did, I printed up a template, and I always cut around it very close so I, you know, I don't have all those extra lines or space in the paper to worry with. Now I'm going to have to redo that, aren't I? Um, then I get it, and I take my seam ripper, also known as my best friend, take it right in the center, and then I poke a hole in. And I know you're not going to be able to see it, but it does a little line right there where I'm going to do with the chalk. And notice it's going to be covered with that part of the four. So then I do one here, which is going to be covered with red fabric. Do it on the other side, right on the line, red fabric. Then I get my other line. I do one down here. Again, it'll be covered with the fabric, so it doesn't matter if I use a water-soluble pen that refuses to wash away like mine always like to do. Or chalk. Put it at the top. Okay? So then I get my line back. Alright. Now before I do that, I'm just going to kind of stick a pen in there to hold that piece of paper. Because I see, I hear a child in the background. All right, now Audrey is going to go underneath the four. And you'll notice I'm going to line up my center line that I've got with the center line of the four. I have centered this on Sew Up Pro, so I'm pretty confident this is centered. I did the number four centered on Sew Up Pro, so I'm confident that that's centered too. So why not match up the line that they give you? And it might be harder for you all to see, so... It's laying right on that D. That did nothing. But anyway, so I'm going to line it where I want it. I want it close, but not too close. You know, I hold up the end of the shirt to see how much I've got left. What's in the top. There. Okay. Out.
Thank you. They're intrigued that I'm doing a video talking to myself in here. All right, so then I line it up, and it looks really good to me. So this is where, and I did the same thing with my holes with Audrey also before. All right, so I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to start in the center, and I just do a line back and forth. Come over here, do this one. Do that one. Fine there. Do the bottom. All right, now I'm going to leave that in place so I can do the Audrey. You might want to raise it up, make sure your line's made it. Yeah. All right, so then I'm going to line. That's for dinner, sweetie. Oh. I was getting dinner ready. Um, I didn't hear what you're saying because the song was playing on the puppy. Okay. Well, I'm doing a video, sweetie. All right, so then I marked. Those didn't show up very well. Sometimes you got to open up your little cut a little bit. That's the most important one right there, your center. that's that step. Now I, I really don't think y'all are going to be able to see it, but I've got a line here, a line here, a line here, a line here, 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 here. And where's the other one? Sometimes you got there's one here and there's one here. All right, so if you wanted to go back with your pen, just kind of really, really, really lightly dot them, go for it. So I'm about to starch the heck out of it. Okay. So I like to get my lines first, and then I starch. This is the starch I use. Just grabbed it at a Ingles. No, because I don't want you to wake up the babies. And I'm doing a video here, and you can't have it all loud in here. I can watch in the living room and well. Well, I don't want you to wake the babies up, sweetie. I don't care. I'm going to be really quiet. No, they need their nap today. I can turn down to 10 or 11. Okay. Those center lines and they're disappearing on me. Which of course now they want to disappear. They never do. I always use a, the water soluble pen and then right before I hand the shirt to the customer, oh magically they reappear. So that's why I've switched to chalk. Again. I know. This. That pen hates me, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. What about the red? Hmm? Does the red hate you? No, honey. Okay. Okay. All starched. Back away. That iron's hot, baby. Back away. Alright, this is the Cutaway permanent stabilizer that I use, soft and sheer. Um, I get my template back right here. And since I'm going to do the four first, I'm not going to worry with the Audrey right now. I'll cut that in a minute. Put that back. All right, so I lay it. And I get. It's okay if I can go under here and dig up there so I can see. You can see, baby. 
So I'm going to cut the exact size pretty much that I need of the soft and sheer. And then I use, I ordered this off of Amazon. It's a huge roll. It's just the iron-on tear away. Now I can never remember what side is right because I, they feel the exact same to me. So I, I usually will like test it on a corner and then once I figure out what it is, I'll mark it. All right. Turn your shirt inside out. Whoops. Jacob, can you get that for me, love? Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Keep the orders. Thank you. You can go under your where you um, iron and I can pick up Don't the hit the camera, baby. It's okay. No, sweet baby. All right, now I can kind of see my water-soluble pen showing up through. You might have to fold it down and kind of look at it. If your starch is still wet, you might want to run your iron over it again. All right, so then I know where my design is. I see my little lines that I've got. So I'm going to place that permanent right on. Smooth it out a little bit. And then with that tear away, I'm going to iron it over it, and it'll... Does this color hate you? No, sweetie, put it down. Um, oh, that iron is hot. You need to move back. Um, you need to uh, iron it around it, and then it'll kind of like hold that permanent in place. That's how I do. I don't have much luck with the adhesive, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. I would prefer to use the adhesive spray, but I just... I struggle with it and then everything is sticky and then I think it's my starch and ruin my iron. Mm -mm. Alright, so you iron it. Alright, so now you'll see I've got my starched shirt underneath permanent stabilizer and then the uh, tear away stabilizer. All right, so now for the hoop. Here's what I do over here. I use, again, I ordered this on Amazon. It's called Tearaway Machine Embroidery Medium Weight 1.8 ounce 6 by 6. And I think there's like 100 sheets in there. I should have gotten the 8 by 8, but I'm kind of making it work. All right, so then I lay the hoop. I do the staple, uh, the, this is also tear away. I just line it up carefully, make sure that the hoop will cover all of it. When I put my hoop in, I always start at the opposite corner Move back. of there. your tightening screws. So I start at the top and then kind of work my way down. Excuse me, I had to kick a little four-year-old out. Alright, so then now once that's done, take the grid, line it up, and I'm still learning how to use this grid. I think I finally figured it out. Because if you slide it down, it touches all the way on the bottom. If you slide it up, it's all the way up on the bottom. So which is centered, huh? I don't know. So I think I figured it out. These notches are centered here. The top is a little bit touching it, not completely covering that top notch and the bottom. So I think that's it. I don't know. Um, take my water-soluble pen, and I just dot. Like that. I'm going to do it on a flat surface, though, so I make sure I get it. Now you'll see, hopefully you can see see my dots. All right, so that seems like it's pretty much on. Turn your shirt inside out. Iron again if you want. 
I usually focus on the area that I'm going to be working with. I don't worry about the whole shirt, of course. But I do go ahead and do the bottom part when I have to rehoop. Okay, let me see if I can show you these lines now. You can see there's little hash marks. And that's the lines that I'm using to line up my design. See? Which is good that you can't see them because you don't want them too dark. Okay. Next. I get me, oops, where did I go? I get me a pen. It's going to wind up in my foot later. Let's see, I'll use a black so you can see it. Uh oh, I should have moved the camera. All right, so I get a pen. lovely helper back here undid the little hooks there now my camera's sliding <laughs> there okay now I get a black pen and I get my grid make sure it's the right way I've made that mistake now on my ironing board I have holes of course underneath on the metal part so I just drew a circle on the actual cutting grid and um, that helps me do this next step. So I pull the shirt up, put my pen in my grid, all right, oopsie, almost messed up. All right, now I'm focused on this, the top half, not the bottom, okay? So I know that this was my center so I put it through my center. Dot with your water soluble pen or chalk. I'll just be real gentle pushing it through. All right, and then I stick my hoop up in there. And then I find my center. I stick it through just to kind of hold it in place and then I come over here and I find my my hole that I've made in my board and then I can have my shirt that I'm trying to hoop flat and I hold it in place and kind of put it inside out there now it, it's not straight it's shifting my little pin has come out of my ironing board spot there all right sorry I got to keep coming back to the camera make sure you can see all right so now I just work with it I hold the pin just real gently in the center and I move my grid just get it kind of lined up and I think that's about right I check my spacing make sure it's centered in all directions make sure none of my shirt is pinned on the inside all right then I open it up I hope y'all can see that try moving you. all right then I open it up and I can see my little hash marks. Now, of course, the pin in the center is right on my center mark because I poked it through all at the same time. So I know if I've got my grid in the right spots, you know, the four little notches, then it's centered. So now I just need to move the shirt a little bit. It looks like it just needs to move clockwise just a little bit. Perfect. All right, so for once when I think I've got it on all my hash marks, even the bottom ones for Audrey's name, then I go back and check it. Now my top has shifted, so I'm going to fix it and then recheck all my lines, which they were all good. Now the side ones are a little bit tougher because you got to feel them because, you know, you can't see them through 
all the stabilizer and the shirt. But you know where they are. And you can kind of feel for them. Alright, so once that's all done, I leave my pin in there. And I get another one. And I raise it at the bottom of the grid just a little bit. And stick it in. Raise the shirt up and pin it at the bottom. Now, I push my center pin back in and I realign it, make sure nothing shifted, which a lot of times it will. Just like it did. Okay, then get it straight back. And then I do the opposite side. Oops, that pin is bent. And I come up. I usually will do it all the way in the collar. Pin it. I guess y'all can't see over my arm, sorry. See, there's a pin at the top, pin at the bottom. All right, and this is where I kind of make sure it's smooth, make sure there's no big wrinkles. Put another one in the center, left side. Smooth it just a little bit. We don't want to make it tight. Really good about sticking my finger with these pins. All right, hold that in place, and then I do every corner. I usually do opposites. You know, if I do the top right, then I'll do the bottom left. I sure hope y'all can see all this I'm doing. Oops, dropped my grid. Okay, and then when it's done, you can gently fix it back. And then I like to double check. Again, you gotta kind of feel for your little knobs, notches, and then check it. Yeah, that's good. All right, now, don't forget to take your backing off. I have done that before, learned a really hard lesson. Where's my other one? There it is. So small, I thought it was scrap. All right, at this point, I move these scraps over to my machine so they're there when I need them. Move your, um, your sleeves out of the way. All right. And I just kind of check it again before I start. Just kind of eyeball it, say, okay, yeah, that does look right, or no, it doesn't. If it doesn't look right, rehoop it right now. I know it takes more time, but it's better than a crooked design, right? All right, now we're going to go to the machine. I'm going to try to take you with me. Excuse my work area, it's uh, my bedroom. <laughs> I tried to get everything ready, but it doesn't always work out that way, does it? I'm going to stop the video so I can get a better view of my sewing machine, and I'll meet you back.